Hey guys, so today I'm going to recreate the thumbnail of this video using only four, only four brush tips, only four. One, two, three, four. That is not the best part. The best part is that I'm going to do that in, in less than 30 seconds. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing, the first thing is we need a, a ground, a grass, some grass over here. Bam. Let's put a sky. Uh, architecture from uh, a church over here. Huh? Let's put some foreground elements right here. That's it. Done. <laughs> now, I haven't seen these techniques before in any art tutorial out there. No one ever talks about it. If you have seen this technique before, let me know in the comments. I would like to see how that person uses this technique. The idea is, is pretty simple. And uh, you know, there are some there are some 3D, uh, think about it as 3D artists. Some 3D artists have kit batch model, 3D kit, kit batch models. They use those models to create uh, bigger, uh, complete models. The kit batch assets consist of usually, I don't know, wires, arms, ro robot parts, rocks, can be whatever, plants, whatever. Um, and I found a way to do that inside of Photoshop using uh, mixer brushes. Let me show you. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to, to paint whatever we want to save as a brush. In this case, I'm going to use uh, the house that we did for, for that painting. We need to save a brush with the shape of the object that we want to uh, save so we can find it easily on the brush panel. So let's do that. Let's copy this layer and put it into 100% black because remember that uh, making a, uh, this edit brush preset only save uh, the black and white information so we want to save the shape of the house you can see here the shape so now the shape is saved it doesn't have the color information of course just have it, it is just a shape and now we need to add the color information on top of on top of the brush shape and we are going to do that with the mixer brush Let's select here the mixer brush press down mixer brush mixer brush uh, you need to be in this dry, dry, heavy load. Uh, be sure that the options right here on the top are the same as mine. Um, let's go back to the layer of the thing that is painted. Let's select the brush that we just created with the shape. You see right here in selecting the shape. Now what we need to do is that we need to press Alt, the Alt key. Try to place the brush uh, in the perfect position for it to grab everything. We copy it, test it. If we like it, we now have to create a new brush. You have to include color. If you don't include the color, uh, once you close Photoshop and open up again, uh, Photoshop won't remember the color information of the, of the object. So yeah, click here, click OK. If you don't have the latest version of Photoshop, you need to save like a tool preset. And you need to include color. Once you do that, you will create the same brush and it will save the, the shape. Remember, include color is very important. Another thing that is very important uh, with this is that, as you can see, we can resize the brush right now and it is working, right? But once we close Photoshop and open up Photoshop again, we won't be able to do that. Let me show you that right now. I'm going to close Photoshop and open it again and you will see what happens if we try to resize the brush. Alright, so we are here on a new file. We try to select the brush and this is what happened. We can click and, and we can select the brush and click and it is working. But once we try to resize it, let's resize the brush, Photoshop is having a hard time to create the brush. I don't think that they thought about making brushes like this. Okay, so to solve that problem, we need to grab the brush. Let's grab the brush right here. We need to paint with it. So now we need to resample it. We need to grab it, the color information again. So we need to press the Alt key, position the brush, Alt key and click. And now we are going to be able to resize the brush and Photoshop is going to handle all the scaling of the brush. Uh, of course, if we try to to make it too big, I think it is going to be pixelated, right? Yeah, it's going to be pixelated, look at that. And it's going to be laggy uh, too. Oh my God, Photoshop is laggy. 
So be careful with that guys. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It looks good. Uh, something important to keep in mind is that saving those brushes, those mixer brushes will increase your brush size. You can see that I have uh, my brushes version 10 and look at the size, it is 291. And when I added all, all of my mixer brushes with the color information, uh, it is 436. So you can see that the file increased a lot because of that. So maybe if you want to save a lot, a lot of stuff, you could easily have a separate uh, brush file. Um, I'm going to show you the brushes that I, s I, have, I have saved. You can see I have a category here. I have, I have plants and vegetation, clouds, sky, architecture, grounds, characters, and animals. You can see here, this is some of the grass that I created. Um, I was looking at uh, Studio, Studio Ghibli's uh, vegetation, kind, that kind of stuff. You can see that I have different version of that. Uh, I created this one too, but I made a mistake of making it too small. So I can't resize it too much. And uh, this one, of course, uh, for the foreground element. Something that I want to talk about is that you see here, I saved this um, bro this uh, grass because I like I like the colors and stuff. But I made the mistake of saving the light information. Uh, if, you if you can see, uh, it is really hard to modify this light information. I mean, I need to talk, paint on top of everything. So the better thing to do is to think about the light information of the brushes that you are going to save the mix of brushes that you want to save for example this one is easier to paint the light information because it is an overcast day or it is in shadow so i can create like a i don't know let's say i can create like a a new an adjustment layer let's say that I, let's let's say that i want to uh, make a light that is coming from the right side so I can increase the light right and I put it I want to the, uh, the light to be a little bit uh, yellowish so I'm going to add green and red to make it yellowish now I'm going to paint on top of the mask this brush is way too big I don't know why it's huge for sure it's lagging a bit paint what we don't want let's say that we want the light shape to be something like this right something like that like this so now we have the light shape but of course we need to paint the we are going to use the regular brushes now and we need to paint the 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 silhouette of the light so i'm going to grab the brush and i'm going to paint right here you can see here we can create these brushes this color you need to paint now with black and uh, remember that. Uh, that's right. Uh, that is a better way to, it's, more, it's a more efficient way. If, if I want to change, change this light, uh, I'm gonna have a hard time doing that, honestly. And of course we, we can change the color later to whatever, you know, I don't know. We can modify this to, to whatever we want, if we want to match it the top one to make it more yellowish something like that uh, this is another one that i created this is like a forest background uh, from another painting i will show you right now uh, from this painting you will see that i, I copy i basically copy this this um, background i also saved the, the these dudes over here i think that i have it in architecture yeah i saved these dudes too, because I, I think that I can reuse them later on another painting so if you painted something that you really like you can create brushes out of it and I, I also copy the, the grass on here on the on the bottom I also copy the sky with the clouds I also have a, a separate one with only the clouds you see right there only the clouds we, we can paint on top of that later if we, if we don't want all our paintings to look the same but think about it as a good base uh, for us to work on uh, this one is the sky for another painting that uh, i will recreate uh, right here sorry guys my my photoshop is lagging a bit but i hope that that's okay um ground i have this ground i don't know where should i put it but i think it was right something like right here yeah you see there i match it matches perfectly 
and I also saved some characters uh, if you see there is a shadow on the ground so context shadow here and another context shadow right here um, the good part is that we can reuse these guys all the time if you have seen this technique before let me know in the comments I'm interested to see someone else using it I'm trying to be more consistent with my YouTube channel but it just takes a lot of time so I will see you in the next one